As I look back, one of my favorite projects is interviewing and producing short stories about 24 volunteers in different parts of Ethiopia. The organization I'm currently working for, VNG International, uh, published those stories. Uh, and these volunteers are people that, you know, that, that have gone out of their way to improve basic public services in their, in their communities. Um, so I really enjoyed traveling to their hometowns and spending time with them and uh, listening to their stories of how they changed their community's lives. It's really inspiring. And the fact that uh, their stories was published meant a, a great deal because it would, ha it would have a ripple effect. When you see a volunteer changing their community's lives, you, you always say, you know, I can do the same. Others will take inspiration. So uh, I really uh, uh, think that that's one of my favorite uh, projects. Just to give you a glimpse of what kind of people these, th th these volunteers are, uh, one of them is a school principal in, in a school here in Addis Ababa. And when uh, she assumed leadership in that school, the school was in a really bad state, really bad state. It was located in almost in the heart of the city, but since there was shortage of desks, even though it was in the city, students had to sit on stones to attend classes. And budget is always a problem, as mostly is the case in third world countries, but she didn't let get that to her. And she uh, mobilized resources. She developed proposals. Uh, she approached uh, different people in the area, different organizations. One of them, even the school's playground was filled with dust and in no way convenient for students. So what she did was she approached uh, the Ethiopian Defense Force office that was located in the area and uh, invited them to come visit the school. She showed them, look at where children are, are playing Look how dusty and inconvenient it is. Is there something we can do together? And they were inspired by her, you know, uh, leadership. And they took a few I mean, uh, a few weeks uh, to, um, you know, the members of the Ethiopian Defense Force came and built the playground from scratch. And if you put it in monetary terms, in uh, if it had been outsourced to a professional, it would have cost about even over 14,000 US dollars. So um, throughout her leadership, she made a lot of changes. There, the number of students and the number of toilets in the school was not proportional. She mobilized resources to build eight new restrooms. And uh, she also managed to increase the number of taps in the school to about 32, I think from five. So these are the kind of people I met and it was really inspiring.